Oh my god. Okay, so this thing looks... It just... It, okay, so I've never been this excited for a figure in a very long time. And I've been waiting and waiting for this. And now that it's here, and oh boy, does it look epic. So I believe this is Unique Toys' last figure, unfortunately. This is my first time ever owning something from them. And oh my god, it's amazing. But... It has issues. Let's start with those. The main issue I have with this guy are the joints. They are really tight ratchets and sometimes it scares me. I have heard of breakages, so be careful with this guy. The plastic does feel solid, but there are some instances where I'm like, okay, why did you use that? Like the truck windshield is entirely clear plastic on top of it being completely tinted black. So like they could have just made a glossy black piece of plastic, but they went with clear because mine is a little bit of a stress mark out of the box, but you know, whatever. The leg slider on my right leg here doesn't like to stay, so it kind of like compresses, which is a little bit annoying. You have to finagle it to stand up. And I have the loose ankle problem, but I've seen fixes online and my solution for now is just fold the feet guards up on the top to push against the leg to keep him standing. Those are the only issues I have. Otherwise, this figure's perfect. The design is not for everyone. It is not G1, but that's not what the films are going for. You have to detach G1 from the films. And I feel like once you do that, you can get an appreciation for the designs a lot more than you would if you like, oh, that's not G1 Galvatron, because it's, it's not, it's not meant to be that. I love the new and unique takes on characters, and therefore I love this Galvatron design. I like movie Starscream's design. I'm one of those people, so I like this as well. The sheer presence and stature of this is epic. It looks so clean. This becomes a truck. How? What rocket scientist with their mega mind brain was able to make this thing? They deserve a large cheese and pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. I'm totally not writing this one. I'm hungry. The amount, the sheer amount of detail on this guy. Oh boy. And their little bits of paint that touch it up. The thing is coated in the nice silver paint with some highlights around a lot of the interest intricacies. That word is hard to say and other surface detailing. I know I say this a lot, but I simply cannot stop looking at this thing. Normally, a desk toy for your work desk is usually like something small to fidget with or whatever. No, this is my desk toy at the moment. The proportions look epic. They're spot on to the film and work very, very well, but he has this massive bulge and now I can't unsee it and you can't unsee it. Galvatron is a chad. The head sculpt is so nice to look at. The horns came packaged in a baggie separately, so they didn't come broken. The feet are spot on, the calves are meaty, the hips, I'm not a fan of the exposed joints. The torso looks immaculate. Yes, there's a hole in the center, but that's accurate. You can stick a sword in there and he has no fear. Uh, the arms are so nice to look at. The blades are epic. I just wish they folded down a bit. You can't remove them either because in a couple shots, they aren't there. So you can't take these off unless you like pop the pin out, but eh, who cares? And the head is just so nice. This robot mode is stellar. It has a light up feature in the head. Unfortunately, my batteries did not arrive by the time I was making this video. The Amazon still just says shipped. So I don't have the batteries to show you that they light up, but the eyes do light up. He has his uh, missiles, which I'll show in truck mode a little bit more. The gun, which is too loose and doesn't fit on mines, but I can fix that. And a little Stanley Tucci, a poseable Stanley Tucci. Never in my life did I think I was going to have a Stanley Tucci action figure, but I do. Posing is great, but stiff as hell. The joints often scare me in some places, so be careful when posing it. The range of motion for something this heavy is pretty good, and even with the loose feet, he can stand in most poses. Oh, and he has posable hands, so he can do the climb, climb pose. Here's the climb, climb pose. Transformation is not the best, I won't lie. A lot of stuff wants to push other things out of the way, and it can get really annoying. If fitting the blades in place is poo, getting the clear plastic section in place of the doors and windows is very hard. I need like a spudger to get this thing moved properly. But the end result, the truck is almost perfect. Some of the panels don't quite line up and the back is a bit of a mess, but you got to get that this thing, this thing turns into a fully fledged truck. Again, five head. How do you think of this? The truck is big, like big. It scales quite nicely with the rest of the MPM figures that I am not transforming because they take forever. But here's leader class Optimus from uh, the last night. That that's a pretty good side size. The Freightliner Argosy is a nice bubble looking truck. It's heavy too. There is a lot of die cast in here. But I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Emgo and his JTI video because the instructions suck ass. This, his video was so 
helpful when I got this. So I recommend watching that if you pick one of these up because it, the instructions are so bad. My truck has trouble rolling because the back wheels don't like to touch the ground most of the time and the tires squeak because they're really tight. But the truck is really, really nice. You can peg the missiles into the side of the truck and it looks sick and now I really want a third party stinger. But you can recreate the highway chase if you really want to if you have Challenger or Leader Prime. The doors open and you can take Agent 47 here and shove him in there. But I'm not going to keep him in there because Jerry Rig everything here likes to get stuck. So I'm just going to take him out. Opening the doors doesn't ruin the transformation. It's like, this is how you do it. Like, I know what Jobby means now when he says this is how you do opening door gimmicks. Bit to car, I take notes, please. The, I will say the windows, the side windows for like the doors, make sure you glue them onto the door because once you put the side view mirrors in because the mirrors are die cast, they like to pull the, the windows out. So that's just something to make note. Yes, this thing is awesome. Like I said, it has issues, but damn, if it ain't great to look at and to handle. It is currently in stock at the time of writing this on Show Z, which is where I picked it up. So I'll leave a not sponsored link in the description because that's where, I, like I said, that's where I got mine. But I highly recommend getting this. Just as I said, be careful in some areas. Overall, though, it is a fantastic figure. It is definitely in my top 10 of this year so far. Not sure where he places, but he's in the top 10. But that's been my look at Unique Toys Nero. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.